Welcome back to Velixo. Here is a simple trial balance report. At the top, we have a number of parameters that are used by the Velixo functions. We can adjust these to change the data that the report retrieves from Sage Intact. Let's explore how we can build these filters to control our report. Here we have already set up some of the basic constructs of our report. We've created the filters at the top, and we've used one Velixo function to list our chart of accounts, and another function to list the names of those accounts. First of all, let's add functions to display the opening balance, closing balance, and account turnover for the time frame listed in our filters. Let's start with the Excel function wizard. We're already in the Velixo NX category, so let's search for our opening balance function. All of the Velixo functions for Sage Intact start with the letters SI followed by a period. So if I type SI period O, I see the opening balance function and can select it. Let's use cell references for our filters to fill in the parameters for the function. We'll select the connection name. We'll skip the account group since we'll be defining the specific account code in this report. The account code is in column A. We'll place a number sign after the cell reference so that Velixo and Excel know to refer to the entire list of accounts and not just one account. Next, we'll select both the start and end date parameters from our filters. Since we only want to see balances for a specific location, we'll reference the specified location code. And finally, our instance of Sage Intact is set up on an accrual basis, so we'll access the accrual reporting book. We're not using any of Sage Intact's predefined or user-defined dimensions, and none of our accounts have child accounts whose balances we need to include so we do not need to use the rest of the parameters for the function. Once we click OK, the beginning balance for the period is displayed for each of our accounts. We'll repeat the process for adding the turnover and closing balance functions as well. If we adjust any of our filters, let's use the location code for this example, you see that our report refreshes, and we see the data for this specified location. If we go look at our locations within Sage Intact, you can see the ID code may be somewhat cryptic. It might be more convenient for the report viewer to select from a list of names and have the report automatically figure out the ID code. Let's set that up. Back in our report, let's create a new worksheet for locations. We'll use the si.expandLocationRange function and refer to the connection name on our original worksheet. That gives us a list of all the ID codes set up in Sage Intact. Next, we'll add the si.LocationName function to get the name for every location. Now that we've defined our lookup list, let's go back to our report. Next to our location ID, we'll create a list of the names from which the viewer will be able to select. We'll use Excel's data validation feature. We'll go to the data ribbon, select data validation, tell Excel we want to create a list of values, and for the source of our list, we'll go to our location sheet and select the function that returns the location names. We'll be sure to use the number sign so that Excel knows to include the entire list. Now, when we click on the arrow next to our cell, we see that same list of names here in our report. Now let's get the location code that corresponds to the selected name. We'll use Excel's XLOOKUP function. The lookup value is whatever we selected from the list. We want to look for that value in our list of names, again using the number sign to examine the entire list. And what we want the function to return is the corresponding location ID from the previous column. Again, with the number sign, of course. Now, when we select a location name from our list, the location ID updates automatically. And, because our balance functions all reference this cell, our report also updates automatically to display the values for the selected location. We hope that you have found this information on filtering reports helpful. And we look forward to seeing you in other videos from us. Until next time, 
Thank you for watching. 